In this video, we will explore how to set up a new filter in the Proofpoint Essentials console. In the left hand menu, click on Email under Security Settings. You will find Filter Policies. Click on it, and you will load all of the filters for this organization. You can see Inbound, Outbound, the ability to create new, enable, disable, and delete. Let's create a new outbound filter. First, name it something that you can easily recognize. Then choose the direction of inbound or outbound. Click Continue. Here you will see the standard formula for each filter. First, you will choose an if statement. In this case, let's use Smart Identifier Scan. By default, you only have contains any of. Then click Manage. You will see a number of pre populated identifiers that you can use with the Smart Identifier Scan. In this case, let's make one for Social Security Number. This would classify as a personal information item. You can select more than just one if you need to, but for now, just click Social Security Number and click Close. We have now created our first condition with the Smart Identifier Scan. Let's add a second condition by clicking Add Another Condition. Choose Dictionary Scan. Leave the option for Contains Any Of. Now click Manage. From here you will see three categories of financial information, personal information, and protected health information. Since our smart identifier scan is looking for social security numbers, let's look under personal information and select SSN term or social security number term. Click close. We now have a two condition factor searching both smart identifier scans and dictionary scans for social security number references. To finish the rule, click on Do and choose Encrypt. This will ensure that any email that goes outbound fitting this criteria will be encrypted. Click Save. You will now be able to review all of the filters including our freshly made one, which will ensure that any outbound mail that has any references to social security numbers will be caught and encrypted before being sent. Thank you for watching this video on how to create filters in the Proofpoint Essentials console. 